Hi, I'm Alex Weinberg. A little bit about me. Having honed my skills at places like NFL Network, CBS, and Nordstrom, I am passionate about crafting stories that captivate audiences and deliver results. I am currently the video content manager at Marcom Central, a Rico company. I have made high-end videos in just about every industry there is. But let's dive right in and watch a quick video I made. Houston, we're about to go beyond limited users. Unlimited users? That's right, unlimited users. Oh, yeah. That's right. Unlimited users means even Steve. Don't let your digital asset management hold you back, even if your user is Steve. So let's talk a little bit about the production process of the video you just saw. So I was tasked with creating a space theme video that showcases unlimited user functionality of the product. This particular company, Marcom Central, is a uh, SaaS company, which stands for Software as a Service. And they wanted to show that their product, Marcom Gather, has unlimited users, unlike their competitors. So they gave me a couple different things they wanted me to include. They wanted to have an astronaut in the company colors and branding, obviously. They wanted the shots to be in outer space because they thought that theme would be uh, really relevant to the user audience that we were trying to hit. They liked the vaporwave style, hence the vaporwave sun that's in the background and those colors. And I only had five days from pitching it to pre-production through delivery, which in corporate video, having no time is extremely common. I added a bunch of subdivisions to the floor plane, and then I used proportional editing to get the bumps, and then just used a PBR texture. So pretty straightforward and easy. And then from there, as you can see, this is just an astronaut moving around with hand animation, and the background sun is just a plane that I made in Photoshop. So pretty easy. These astronauts here, the floor, first of all, is the PBR texture. As far as the astronauts dancing, I just used a retargeting from Mixamo Animation. Here is just a bunch of hand animating once again. This was just downloaded from BlendSwap with a Creative Commons Zero license and it's added texture to it. So really simple. So as I talked about the moon floor, just a PBR with displacement and I use proportional editing in the grab brush and sculpt mode. That's one beauty of Blender. You can go right into sculpt mode and you don't have to go to uh, ZBrush, which is a whole nother step and a whole nother program. It keeps it all in one place and of course keeps it free and accessible for everybody not having to buy another program. The model, I just bought a stock model. I didn't have time to model from scratch. It was extremely high resolution, so I had to do a retopo on the model. After I got it to a reasonable poly count, I went to UV it. The UV, just smart UV project, is all I needed for this model. It did a great job. I didn't have to do any manual cleanup at all. It saved a lot of time. I textured the model. I mostly used Substance Painter in this case, instead of using PBR, because I wanted to put the logo in certain places. And you can do it in Blender, but it's just a little bit faster in this case to do it in Substance Painter for me. I then rigged the model in AutoRig Pro. I like it a little bit better than Rigify, but both will work. I use automatic weights for weight painting. And then I had to do a little bit of manual cleanup. The automatic weights got me about 98% there, but there's a little bit of issues which I had to manually clean up. Then I did a retargeted animation using Mixamo. I took in the dance from Mixamo and I had to do some cleanup. Every time you bring in from Mixamo and you do a retarget, you usually have to do some cleanup because you'll get some areas where your mesh will be kind of forming back into itself. So you always need to do a little bit of cleanup there. I rendered it in cycles and then I composite it. Let's talk about the benefits of Blender implementation. First of all, Blender has significant time and money savings. First of all, it's free, you can't beat that price. There's no subscription model, there's no one-time buy. And then on top of that, Blender saves tons of time. For example, there's sculpting built in, there's a render engine built in, there's pretty much everything you need for anything built in already. You don't need to buy any other third-party software. Sometimes you want to buy some add-ons to speed things up, but it's really not needed for really anything. Blender has extremely high-quality outputs. Just because you're using Cycles or EV doesn't mean you're skimping out on quality whatsoever just because it's free. I think that's a big thing. People think because it's free, it's bad, and that is 100% not the case. And there's just so many tools in this one software. There's absolutely, as I said, no back and forth. I don't have to go to ZBrush. I go into sculpt mode. I don't have to have V-Ray installed to render something. I go right into cycles. So everything is right there where you need it and just saves you so much time. Sometimes people have some trouble doing simulations in Blender. If there's one thing you take away from my talk, I want you to take the speed tip. I want you to simulate with boxes and then swap in your geometry after the fact because the boxes won't take a ton of time to simulate and they also won't crash if you use like high resolution geometry. So all you do in this case is I simulate with boxes you select all the boxes, then you select your geometry, the coffee bean, press Control L, and choose object data, and those boxes will now all be coffee beans. Blender has tons of industry-focused features. The video you just watched, I use Open VDB support with attributes. 
I actually made the explosion in Embergen, a separate program, and then I imported it into Blender. And because Blender also supports attributes with VDB, I could make little edits inside of Blender, which is really awesome. Blender also has Cycles and Eevee. Cycles is definitely, in my opinion, way better and also free compared to V-Ray. I think Cycles is easier to use and it's just as powerful, if not better. Eevee is also very useful. I predominantly use Cycles, but Eevee has lots of uses as well. And sometimes I do use Eevee to export to save time, especially when I'm doing something like smoke or other volumetrics. Blender has real-time previewing in the viewport. And that, to me, is one of the main reasons I wanted to switch to Blender in the first place, because back in the day, things have changed a bit, but you'd have to actually render it to see what you're working on. In Blender, you can see what you're working on as you're working on it, which is absolutely amazing. Blender has open image denoise and optics. So those are AI denoising tools that are incorporated inside. So you make that render and you just can't quite clean up those fireflies. The AI denoising will do the trick for you, which will save you tons of time because you can actually crank down your samples. Geometry nodes is also super amazing. You can do all kinds of incredible things, which is one of the most welcome features in the last few versions of Blender that I really like. UDIM support is also incredibly useful in Blender. That was added about a couple of years ago, roughly, give or take. And with UDIM support, I can export those out into Substance Painter with full UDIM support and right back in with full UDIM support as well. So that's been a huge, huge feature that I really, really like that's compatible with all my other industry software that I use. And I use a lot of software. Open source advantage. Blender eliminates platform restrictions. It used to be back in the day when I used 3D Studio Max, you could only work on Windows because 3D Studio Max only works on Windows. Well, with Blender, you can use it any platform. You don't have to be worried about PC or Mac. You can use it on any platform you're using. There's no need for third-party renderings, as we talked about, which saves you a ton of time and money. It's also free and accessible, no subscription. It's not those Autodesk people asking for a subscription, which is very expensive. Blender gets regular updates actually faster than the pay softwares because of all the beta and alpha builds. Uh, normal software gets only once a year. Blender gets updates all the time. And Blender has stability and longevity. They have long-term releases if you want to use one particular version, which will get support for many years. And as you can see up at the top, that's Blender Launcher. And Blender Launcher helps you keep track of all your different Blender versions so you don't get lost. So that is a free program that I recommend downloading. Add-ons. There's free and paid. Let's talk about Lodify first. Load stands for level of detail. Lodify lets you control the level of detail. In the top right corner, you can see that's Suzanne. I have three models of Suzanne. And then you have one with high geometry, one with medium geometry, and one with low geometry. And you can select which ones you're actually working with in the viewport and which one renders. So for example, if you're doing an animation that's very high poly, you'd have one that's super decimated and very low resolution in the viewport, so you get real-time performance or very good performance. And then when you render it, it switches back to your full poly model. So when you're doing animation, Lodify is huge to keep your viewport running smooth. Node Wrangler, enable it. If you're not, I don't know what you're doing with your life. There's Rigify and AutoRig Pro. I prefer AutoRig Pro, but Rigify is free and also very good. Animate is an amazing tool. It has something called Animation Offset, and you can basically have all your keyframes. You can select the animation offset and then move everything, let's say, to the right, and all your keyframes will update. Turbo Tools is paid. You can, in theory, make the same node tree yourself. It uses AI denoising, and this goes on top of all the nodes you already have in your render setup. It saves you tons of time. I use it on every render. Light Wrangler. This is one of the newer ones that I use. It allows you to move your lights much quicker than manually. It allows you to orbit them around and just place your lights much quicker. Smudger Pro, it adds fingerprint and scratches. And if I'm using PBR and I don't have time to go into Substance Painter, I always do it to add a little bit of realism, give it a little bit of imperfections. Group Pro, this add-on is the one of the things I think Blender was missing and this solved it for me, coming from 3 Studio Max. There's not a good way to add groups. Yes, you can always parent objects together, but this gives you a really good grouping situation similar to 3D Studio Max. Sculpt Layers is a really good add-on. What Sculpt Layers does is when you're in ZBrush and you have layers, this basically adds that layer system to Blender. Community Collaboration. The video you just saw, I actually got the node tree for how to do that from Reddit. In the right corner, you can see the actual node tree. I added a couple more nodes in there, but that's more or less the gist of it. And I got that just from reading a post. I learned a lot about how to make this particular effect. So you should, if you don't know how to do something or you just need ideas, I wasn't looking for anything in particular. I found this inspiration, made this cool little animation. YouTube, there's tons of tutorials. So you can learn how to do all kinds of stuff you don't know how to do. There's Blender Artist. Blender Artist, you can ask questions, find answers to stuff. With BlendSwap, you can download models. Just make sure that the model has the appropriate license for your needs before you download it. 
That's one of the beauties of Blender is that it's really a big community. You can really learn how to do anything you want from the internet with Blender. One of the things that like other software, let's say 3 Studio Max, it's still a pretty well-known software I used to use, but a lot of stuff, there's really not a lot of knowledge and tools about how to do certain stuff. With Blender, there's knowledge and tools for absolutely everything. Recap, don't make excuses. Just go out and create. Kit Bash to save time. For example, if you look on the bottom right corner and you see the wireframe, the earth is just an image plane. That's all it is. There was absolutely no need to make the earth. It just would take a bunch of time for no reason for the final result. Even the satellite, I saw a quick tutorial on YouTube on how to make it and just modeled it extremely quickly. It's even a Kit Bash style model. Leverage the community. Always ask questions. Don't be afraid to. Just create with no restrictions. Blender is free. It's an amazing tool. And it will always be free, so it will always be a tool you can download for free and use no matter what you're doing, where you work, if it's just for fun, whatever, download Blender and just use it. Thank you, everybody. Once again, my name is Alex Weinberg. If you need to contact me for any reason, all my contact information is on the screen. Keep creating.